The gang quickly revealed to the wasteland, where they could meet up with Black and Zamasu before the battle starts. Kagami went out with future trunks, Vegeta, and Goku. She remembered that future Shippo and future Gotten wanted to stay in the subway station with Bulma, future Rin, Shippo, and future Mai in case they needed more help or keeping them safe from danger. They could see them standing over the bridge where they waited for their arrivals. Kagami could tell she can see a smirk on Zamasu's face when he was glad to see them again, which she didn't like always reminding her of Naraku when he always kept smiling with sinister. She hated it and so was Shippo. I see you have returned, dear Saiyans and their dear precious priestess here with you, Zamasu said with an evil smirk. And we're glad we made it in time, Kagomi said with a glaring look. My, feisty one as always. We can't wait to see you all die. As for you, priestess Kagami, you will be mine soon until you surround us, Black said, smirking that disgusts Kagomi, when she noticed there was a feeling powerful of lust for her. Hell no, Kagomi shouted. Then she transformed herself into the legendary Super Miko when her raven hair changed into lilac, and her icy blue eyes turned into magenta. Everyone didn't hesitate in her actions when they kept facing each other. Yes Kagami, let me see your true form. I want to taste your purification power. Black chuckled. You are disgusting but despicable. I hope you two are waiting for death. Kagomi shouted in anger. Let's see about that, Kagomi. Black chuckled. And we hope you join death as well, Zamasu said. Enough. I know the truth now. Goku interrupted them as he stood beside Kagami and protected her with a wide right arm. You do? Black questioned. And what truth have you seek Goku? Zamasu asked, smirking. We know the truth. All the terrible things you've done. We know you used the Super Dragon Ball to get your power. And we all know about Gawasu. Goku shouted. Oh, you're quite a detective, Zamasu said. You made yourself invisible. And made this thing copy. Goku continued as he faced Black, where he was still standing beside him. You think I'm a copy? You're wrong, Goku, Black said, smirking. Then everyone became confused when they flinched a bit. Then what are you? Vegeta demanded him. A smirk appeared from Black's face until he revealed himself. This is Goku's actual body. Down into the last battle scar. The perfect war machine. Goku glared at him while listening to him. Once I learned how to control it. But the mind inside of me belongs to me. The Supreme Kai Zamasu. Black revealed. Goku flinched and so are the others. What? Kagami said in shock. After I dispensed with my tragically useless master. I took the time ring and used the super dragon ball then. With my first wish to the dragon. I switched bodies with you. Goku. Everyone gasped in shock. They knew this is way too far. No, this has gone too far with him. They never believed Black would do terrible crimes. So Goku glared more when he kept facing them. So you traded my body so that means you stole my body. Goku yelled in anger? And then what? What did you do to Goku? Kagomi shouted who interrupted them instantly. Black chuckled with reaction. And then I killed your beloved Saiyan. What? They shouted again. Yes Goku. I killed you with my death fist, Black said, showing him the time ring. Then he faced Kagomi with a sinister look. Oh, and Kagami, after I've killed Goku, I've met your enemy from the feudal era, Naraku. What? Kagomi shouted with eyes widened. Yes, Kagami, we are the ones who worked for Naraku. And we are the true ones responsible for switching the Shikin Jewel shards into another universe, Black revealed once more. We also helped him hide the shards from you. And, your old friends. So it's you two who switched the shards into another world. So Inuyasha and the others couldn't find them everywhere, Kagami said in a stern voice. In case you've been wanting your wish to be reviled. Or you've been wanting to run away from your friends. It's like you don't want them around, Black said. She scoffed. Kagami began to pull out the sacred arrow and aimed it at them. She had finally enough with their foolish games. I've never been wanting to have my real wish to disappear from life. All I ever wish is that I'm not somebody's reincarnation and find someone who can accept me, and love me for who I am. Goku could react that when he glanced at his onyx eyes, and faced her when he always knew how pure she is, he knew she was telling the truth, Kagomi would never want to leave Inuyasha and her friends, all she wanted is to help everyone for saving the world, so she could go back to see them, she has a golden heart, even though she wasn't ready to go back when she was still afraid when Kikaio will do something terrible to her, but Kagami was supposed to be strong enough, and learn how to stand up to herself. She is a woman now, and she knows how to handle situations she has. But her new friends will always be there to help her. Even though, Goku had accepted her for who she is, and told her she isn't everyone's reincarnation. She is the real Kagomi he knows. And he truly loved her. 
Goku continued, Okay, so you're telling us you're Zamasu. Then who's this guy that looks actually look like him? Zamasu smirked. I'm also Zamasu of course, I am this Zamasu of this alternate future. Goku blinked in shock. With more precisely, the alternate future from your perspective for me it's the only world I've ever known. He continued, I've allied with the other Zamasu who became from your own era to fight for justice. From this future? Future Trunks asked with a sweat drop. Goku became more confused. Give yourself a credit, Goku. You played a role in this tangled loop when you and Kagome challenged me, making me suffer from humiliation at the hand of a priestess and mortal. That was the last straw, the last motivation I needed to chase my righteous dream. It was the moment as your priestess had attacked that I resolved and cast you off my body and yours instead. You gave me this push and gave me this power. But how can that be? Kagome and I saw Lord Beerus destroy you. He said that you'd be gone. Goku said, Old Beerus doesn't understand about the full beauty of this time ring. Black said as he showed it to them again with the time ring. He clenched his fist and slowly moved it around. Wearing it is to protect me from changes to time. Not even a god did in the past can affect me. Okay, so what now? Goku argued with a sweat drop. So that means you're some version of yourself where you did kill your master? Kagami asked with a sweat drop. That's right, priestess. I had to since the only one who can use a time ring. Black said one of their earnings shines so brightly as Kagami, and the others realize something is the Supreme Kai. Without a warning, the two with the key blasted them. But they managed to block their attack with shields until they immediately turn Super Saiyan Blue and charges. Goku charged towards him, with Vegeta yelling at him to remember that he is immortal, and blows off his head, only for it to instantly regenerate. Black turned into a Super Saiyan Rose and used his energy blade, which Goku blocked, but he was kicked into a building. Future Trunks and Kagome confirmed that Goku was alright, saying that he needed someone with the same heart and understanding to carry out his justice. Black continued his story about how he traveled to the future to kill future Gawasu while using the time ring. Future Zamasu, bringing his tea, sees Black standing over his corpse, which eventually disintegrates and was flustered. Black knew that future Zamasu was planning on killing future Gawasu and hands him one Potter earring, saying he was now a Kaishin. Future Zamasu, revealing his true nature, accepts the earring. He said he then used the Super Dragon Balls to wish for immortality, and to ensure that their wish could not be reverted, they destroyed the Super Dragon Balls to prevent anyone else from using them. Black then traveled to each universe, and killed every Kaishin, also indirectly killing every god of destruction. Being the only two godly forces left in the entire multiverse, the two ensure success for their zero humanity plan, and they charge towards the Saiyans. Kagami, Goku, Future Trunks, and Vegeta launch a key blast barrage at them. But Zamasu willingly blocked the attack with his immortal body. The others are pressured by the pair's assault, and when Kagami, Future Trunks, and Vegeta are both knocked down, the two proceed to gang up on Goku. Having him cornered, Zamasu began to question him, you don't want to know what happened to Kagami do you? Zamasu asked with a smirk, which confused him. What? Goku asked, it seems like you never knew what happened or what's going on. Well Black will explain it to you, Zamasu said, glancing his eyes at him who nearly caught Kagami in his arms who was ultimately unconscious. Kagami. Goku panicked who saw Black carry Kagami in a bridal style. Tell him what you did to his Kagami, Black, Zamasu said. I'm glad to tell him that, Zamasu, Black said, approaching him with an evil smirk. Where should I start? Well, yes. Now I remember, I did something terrible happen to Kagami, her son Shippo, and even your son, Gotten. Goku glared at him, becoming frustrating and angry. What did you do to them? Well, it all started after you found out that your wife Chichi has been cheating on you with Yamcha this whole time. So then you ended up dating your beloved Kagome after you divorced your wife. He widened his eyes in shock. What? Chichi has been cheating on me this whole time. Well, Goku, it seems like nobody tells you the truth. Surely they kept a secret from you, and didn't want you to worry about it. That's a shame. Black laughed out. Then he continued a story. After you divorced your whore wife, and dated Kagami. At the same time, I had killed my master until I made my wish to switch body with you. So then I finally murdered you in front of your girlfriend, and your children. Just like that. Then he summoned his energy blade and stabbed him through Zamasu's side and Goku's chest, which caused him to scream in pain. Kagome slowly opened her eyes and saw Goku was being stabbed. Then she passed out instantly. Goku just saw that, he slowly grabbed onto the blade while facing them with a glaring look. Damn you! 
What about Kagami, Shippo, and Gotten? Oh, surely you can guess that much, Goku, Black said as he stabbed him more but gave him more pain when he slowly shoved his blade into his chest. Goku screamed in pain again. After I struck you down in front of your girlfriend and children, it was time to finish the cleansing. That means you. Yes, Goku. I killed your Kagomi and your children. Black confessed when a sinister appeared from his face. You monsters. You'll pay for that. You pay for that. After hearing this, Goku grows more and angrier and powers up, breaking Goku Black's energy blade. You took my body. You took my life. Then you ever killed Kagami, Shippo, and Gotten. You're gonna regret telling me that, Zamasu. Now I'm mad. I'm really, really mad. Now it's for you to pay. Black was fascinated at Goku's power up, while a furious Goku fought both Zamasu and Black and put them on the defensive. When Goku attacked Black again, he countered the attack, having increased his power due to taking Goku's powered up beating, as noted by Zamasu. Black created his divine lasso and stabbed Goku numerous times with spears of energy before making them explode, knocking him down on the ground defeated. Black laughed out, outstanding. The Saiyan soul is deeply flawed, but the body itself is grand. The more it's attacked, the more its power rises. Future Trunks and Vegeta are cornered by future Zamasu and Black, and Future Trunks says that he will deal with Goku Black, even if he dies, and asks Vegeta to deal with future Zamasu. Future Trunks says that Goku Black is doing nothing less but murdering Goku's body, and Goku Black tells him that he is the main reason why he decided to destroy humanity, calling Future Trunks a sinner. The two recall him constantly going back and forth in time, continuously breaking the taboo of gods, and that the creation of a new time ring is the proof of his sins. They recall Future Trunks saving Goku's life from the heart virus, saying that if he had died as history decided, Zamasu would not have sought Goku's body. They also mention Future Trunks destroying the androids, as his actions caused the current events and that everything is his fault. Future Trunks grew angry at their words and Vegeta told him not to listen to them. But he powered up and assaulted Goku Black. But he is easily repelled and defeated while Vegeta was held back by Future Zamasu. Seeing this, Future Mai rushed for Future Trunks, with Shippo, Future Shippo, Future Gotten, Bulma, and Future Yajirobe following her. They are stopped by Future Trunks angrily punching the ground, and as he grows angrier and angrier, he begins to power up into Super Saiyan Rage, surprising everyone. With his new bulky appearance, huge power, and loss of his pupils, Future Trunks declares he will kill Goku Black. Having obtained a new power due to succumbing to his intense rage, he prepared to do battle with his enemy. Much to Black's surprise, Future Trunks can not only fight on even terms with him, despite being a Super Saiyan Rose, but he can also put the corrupt former Kaishin on the defensive. Vegeta witnesses as future Zamasu steps in Anne, along with Black, gang up on future Trunks, but the Saiyan was able to fight both of them off. As future Zamasu was knocked away, Vegeta, as a Super Saiyan Blue, stepped in to prevent him from helping Black. The young Saiyan knocked Goku Black and blasts him with a point-blank burning attack, but he emerged from the smoke barely harmed, calling future Trunks a good dessert. Black proceeded to jump Vegeta with Zamasu, defeating the Saiyan Prince and knocking him to the ground, further angering Future Trunks. The duo is determined to execute their Zero Mortal plan, but is knocked down by a powered-up Future Trunks, who then fired a Masenko at them. The pair is knocked into a building, and Future Trunks attack them with a barrage of key blasts. As he is doing this, he tells Vegeta to take Bulma, Shippo, Future Gotten, Future Shippo, and Future Mai, and the beaten Goku and Kagami and go back to the present timeline in the time machine comma, to come up with, a plan to win, saying he will hold them off by himself. Vegeta disagreed with this, but Goku weakly muttered that it's the only way to save the future. Vegeta ordered Bulma to ready the time machine comma, picked up Goku and Kagami, and hands future Mai the Senzu beans, entrusting her to look after future Trunks. Black noticed the time machine flying off, and tried to blast it, but future Trunks countered the blast with one of his own. Upon witnessing the Saiyans and Bulma retreat, Black dismissed it, saying they will return in due time, and the corrupt pair direct their attention to future trunks.